Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Kumi Kumi Shikhavat and I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I am going to explain how to perform the Angle Granger Residual Based Co-Integration Test using EDUS. So before proceeding with the procedure of how to perform this test, I would like to kindly inform you that if you have any specific query regarding any regression technique or methodology or you want to get the data set in order to practice the same, do follow my telegram group. The link for the same is attached in the description box. Okay. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. So yeah, let's get started. The question is, why angle Granger co-integration test is performed? The test considers the case that there is a single co-integrating vector. The test follows the norm that if variables are co-integrated, then the residual of the co-integrating regression should be stationary. Okay? And the assumption of the angle Granger residual based co-integration test is that you can perform the test only if all the variables in your regression model, the dependent as well as the independent variables are stationary at first difference, right? Now, the procedure to run the test is as follows. So first of all, you need to run the regression model using the ordinary least square method, right? So once you have run the regression, the second step is to estimate the residuals of the regression model. Check the stationarity of the residuals using the unit root test. Okay, so this is the procedure that needs to be followed in order to run the angle Granger residual gauge co-integration test. Now, let's move to the e-views and see how we can perform this test in e-views. So first of all, you need to import your data file in eViews okay so this is the work file and the data set consists of one dependent variable and three independent variables wherein co2 is the dependent variable and y which is here for gdp population and fdi these three are the independent variables so select all these variables using the control key and then open these variables as group okay so you can have a look on the entire data set so this is the data set okay the so first one here is the dependent variable and rest three are the independent variables right okay now you can open these selected variables as equation okay the variables are already selected and so, the first procedure is to run the regression model using the ordinary least square method. Okay, so this is the equation wherein the first one represents the dependent variable and rest three are the independent variables and C here is for the constant term. Okay, so keeping the rest of the things as default, meaning we are performing the OLS on this regression equation. Okay, now click. All right. So this is the result for the regression model. Now the second step is to estimate the residuals or the error term of the regression model, right? So for that, you need to go to PROC and then select make residual series. And here, if you want to rename your residual series, you can rename it. I'm keeping it as default residual 01, okay? And then you need to click on OK. All right. So you can see over here, a new variable has been generated. And you can see your work file here. It has been added as residual 01, right? And this represents your entire residual field. All right. Now, the last and the most important step in the procedure is that you need to run the unit root test on the residuals to check whether the residual series is stationary or not. Okay, so for that, 
double click on the new series that has been generated in the work file and then click on view then select unit root test and cross sectionally independent one right so as you know there are various test types so you can select any specific one or you can proceed with the summary also because you just need to check whether the residual series is stationary or not okay so if i click on summary and then the test for unit root at level and you can check for individual intercept and keeping the rest of the things as default then click on ok so the null hypothesis is that there is a presence of unit root or the series is not stationary as contemporary to the alternative we state that the series is stationary right and uh, we are going to follow the thumb rule which states that if the probability value is less than 5% level of significance then we we'll reject the null hypothesis and which indicates that the series is stationary at level now if we look at the probability value as stated by all these tests the probability value is 1 which is greater than 5% level of significance so this means that we do not reject the null hypothesis and we are accepting that the series is not stationary okay so in conclusion we are stating that since the residual series is not stationary or residuals are not stationary at level the variables are not co-integrated or it also indicates that the regression is furious right so this is how on the basis of the unit root test of the residuals you can identify or estimate whether the variables are co-integrated or not right so by following this procedure you can run the angle Granger residual based co-integration test and you can estimate whether the variables are co-integrated or not based upon the stationarity of the residual right so i hope you like this video thanks for watching have a great day